What's up everyone? My name is Shaylin and on this channel everything's all right. Before I get started into this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you leave. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you? Oh. Are you? <laughs> you want to say hi? Um, hi, I'm, I'm just eating these really, really awesome cheese snacky things. Oh my god, they're spicy and cheesy. <laughs> my husband and I first started talking about getting married and even when we first got engaged before I started wearing my ring I was really worried about wearing it on my left hand but I didn't want to wear it on my right hand even though it might have been safer because I just wanted it to be kind of traditional with my ring on my left hand so because I was so worried about it I tried to look online for any kind of videos or any kind of even blog posts where girls talk about wearing wedding rings on their affected hand. I was searching high and low for any kind of content online where people talk about this subject and I found absolutely nothing. There was not one thing that I could find that I could get any kind of reassurance or advice from. So. Yeah, obviously I wanted to contribute since I didn't have content like this before I started wearing a wedding ring. This is why I'm making this video. <laughs> so I'll tell you a little story first to get into this video about one time that traumatized me where I actually did lose a ring because I was wearing it on my left hand. Rewind all the way back to when I was still in the hospital. I had my 18th birthday while I was in the hospital for my stroke and for my 18th birthday my mom got my sister, her, and me all matching rings, kind of like a family ring, really cute, from Pandora. And it wasn't the cheapest ring ever, it was actually really nice and I wanted to wear it on my left hand. I think I put it on my index finger if I'm not mistaken because it just fit better on that hand and I wore it to I wore it to somebody's house. I had a day pass or something like that to leave the hospital and so I wanted to go visit somebody. I forget who it was. When we left their house. I realized that I no longer had my ring on my index finger and I was so upset clearly because I was in love with the ring. It was like kind of like a family ring now. And now it's gone and I think I just got it like not even a week before so I was really sad about that and unfortunately the person whose house it was they couldn't find it so that thing is gone I mean it's been gone since 2015 so <laughs> just over seven years that I have never found that thing but for something else my mom actually replaced it and got me the same one again so I had it and I was really grateful for that. She didn't need to do that, but really sweet. And yeah, I was really happy that I could get it back. The reason why the ring fell off of my hand was because at that stage in my stroke recovery process, I still didn't have the tone that I have in my hand today, like how my fingers are just constantly closed. My hand was literally like flaccid, like loose like this, like it had nothing in it. So wearing a ring definitely was not the right move on that hand anyway. <laughs> I never made that mistake again. I never wore a ring up until I got married <laughs> on that hand because I was so traumatized from losing it. I didn't want that to happen again. So. so I'll take off my wedding rings or my wedding band and my engagement ring so that I can show you them and give you a little backstory about them. Okay, so 
I did already talk about my engagement ring in a previous video of me showing how I put on various kinds of jewelry, everything from necklaces to different kinds of earrings, different rings, um, I even did an anklet, um, how I put those on with one hand. So I'll link that video in the corner right now if you want to go check that one out. But I'll still do the backstory on my rings again. This is my engagement ring. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Okay, that's the best it's gonna get. My engagement ring is actually like a family ring. My mother-in-law and I both have the same birthday actually and she got this ring for a birthday present one year so she gave it to me. She never wore it anyway so she thought that I would get more use out of it which obviously I've been wearing this ring for over two years now, so obviously I am <laughs> getting use out of it. Not just because it's my engagement ring or anything, but <laughs> that's kind of the backstory about it. It's not one that I picked out. I still love it. I think it's so beautiful and so dainty and precious. I love it. And then my wedding band, I didn't actually get until this last October. I was already married, what, like a year and a half? Just over a year and a half, I think. But I never had a wedding band and I just really wanted one because I like the look of the two rings together and I like the significance of it. Most married women have two rings, so I wanted to get a wedding band and I got this one in Thailand when we went this last October. If you guys want to see those vlogs, I'll put the card in the corner. But it's just a pave, like hexagonal band. That's the backstory on the wedding band. I got it in Thailand on our vacation this last October. So I guess I'll show you how I put them on and how I take them off. Putting them on is pretty self-explanatory. I just... I put my engagement ring first and then my wedding band second. So... Just push them on. Then to take them off, it's a little bit more tricky, and I'll get into why in a minute, but I kind of just either wiggle them off or I spin it, which sometimes kind of hurts. But as soon as I get it past my knuckle, it's easier to just pull off. There, I'm gonna put them back on. And if you're interested in knowing how I put rings on and off on my able hand because that is very much more tricky than putting it on my affected hand. It's in that jewelry video that I linked earlier, so you can go check that out. So the reason why these stay on me so good is because I pretty much sized down without sizing down. My fingers are very tiny as it is and they lost a lot of muscle from being not used for years now. My right hand fingers are definitely bigger than my left hand fingers just because of losing muscle um, density, I guess is the word, I don't know. Yeah, the reason why I'm not scared of these falling off is because, I mean, I've tested them for years now. So I know that because my hand is closed most of the time, they won't slip off my fingers. And also because I got such small rings. If you measure and size my finger on my left hand properly, it's a size 4.5, I'm pretty sure. And that's like tight ring, tight, tight to the bone, pretty much. <laughs> so my engagement ring is a size 4.5, which is the correct sizing for that finger. And then my wedding band is a size 4.75. So it's a little bit bigger, but honestly it doesn't slip off. It hasn't slipped off. It's been, what, like six months or something? Yeah, six months. <laughs> so I'm pretty confident with it. At first I was wearing my wedding band on the other side so that my engagement ring would keep it on, but I like the look of it better on the other side. So that's why I have it like that. So pretty. <laughs> so I guess some advice for wearing engagement rings and wedding bands with hemiplegia on your affected side would be to just make sure you size those things really good and if you have tone in your hand or spasticity, if you call it that, 
that's even better. It'll stay on even easier with muscle tone. Obviously it's not ideal, but it helps for the rings, so. Another thing I want to mention is size adjusters. So I'll link below the ones that I got before if I can find them. If not, I'll link something similar. But size adjusters for rings are a game changer, especially if your ring is slightly too big. I just get these ones that are clear plastic. They snap onto your ring on the inside so that when you put it on, it's just slightly smaller, <laughs> obviously. I used that for a really long time because I got my engagement ring sized and they didn't size it properly. It was still very much too big on me. So I wore a size adjuster for a very long time, but then I got it sized down to the proper size and it's been good to go ever since. No size adjusters needed. Like I said, I wanted a video like this before I got engaged. And even just to have peace of mind about one day wearing it when I did get married. I didn't know when that was gonna happen, but <laughs> yeah. So I hope that one of you girlies or even men, if you wanted to know about wearing wedding bands, I hope that this helped you out and gave you some peace of mind and some reassurance and even some tips on what to do and how to go about wearing wedding rings and engagement rings and everything like that. So <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, Follow me on all my socials linked in the description down below and I will see you next week for another new video. Okay, bye!